What is up guys and today we're going to root the Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime from Cricut. I believe this also works with AT&T because Cricut and AT&T are like the same thing and it should work for AT&T too. So we are going to root with Keen Root app. So there are three files that you need to download. I'll just make one zip file, you guys could just download it and then once you unzip it you're going to get three of these files right here. First one is the Keen Root, second one is the Flashify, and we're going to need the Flashify and the boot image for, for it to bypass the boot loop or brick as you could say it. So first of all it's going to install Keen Root and root our phone. I understand and want this to install it install anyway okay okay so while this is installing um if you just root with keen root and then you restart your phone nothing is good like I mean your phone will not reboot it's just gonna get stuck on like on this screen with the yellow triangle saying that like your device has been modified whatever so it is important that you do not reboot or anything after you root this. Okay, here, let's go here. And no root permission. Hit root. Let's see. Yours will be probably different. It's gonna start rooting right away. So it's gonna be doing this screen. There we go. It says root six, rooted successfully, whatever. And then once that is done, do not reboot your device. It is very important. If you reboot right now without flashing the without flashing the boot image stock one, you will end up with a boot loop. So go back to the files, install this application right here. It's not a virus or anything. Okay, once it is installed, open it, accept it, give it root access, okay, whatever, and then hit boot image, file explorer, scroll down to storage, I believe, emulated legacy, and then down download that's where I had mine saved and then take that flash that this is going to flash the stock I mean yeah stock boot image and will prevent it from boot looping and right now it's going to restart it's going to say custom when you do this which is fine And here it is guys, as you can see it did not brick or end up in a boot loot or anything like that. It is optimizing one app for the one that we have root. And this is pretty much it. Here it is. Um, there's also this other method for on XDA to rooting it and um, for some reason I tried it and my Wi-Fi didn't work so make sure you do the one that I have and um, download the files that I have down below in the link description where I provided and also do not forget to check out my other video tutorial where I show you guys how to transform the Keen root into Super SU so I'll put a link down in the description for that too. So yeah guys, thank you guys for watching and um, I hope your phone was rooted and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.